Hey, Castmaster Flash here, and welcome back to NASCAR Inside Line. We're going to uh, Auto Club, or California, or Fontana, whatever the hell it's called now. It's being set today, buddy. Make sure yours is warm. And I am cutting practice out of this, and in practice we had the fa fastest car, so we'll see what we uh, can do in qualifying. knock this out. Hope we're fast enough. We, we've been okay at the smaller tracks, but we went to Vegas and we weren't very fast. And we got run over from behind the entire race. So hopefully we're fast here. You know, I don't know why I got down on the apron there, but whatever. Looks like we got good speed going into the, going down the front stretch here, so should be good. Solid corner. All right, a little higher than I wanted, but not terrible. I wish I could see where I'm actually like, like real time where I'm at. Oh, this was not a very good corner. Way too high. Oh, we, well, we were like three seconds faster than everyone else. So that's uh, interesting. We're looking to be even faster this lap. Not a good corner. Again, too high. But still going to have a faster lap than I had the last lap. All right. better and better. Take the pole, I guess. Can't get much better than that, buddy. And we were also fastest in the last two practices as well. So uh, we'll start the race here at, in California, or Auto Club. Auto Club Speedway, I think is what it's called in this game. So we'll, we'll go with that. From sunny Southern California, welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the Auto Club 400. I'm Mike Joy with Hall of Famer Darrell Waltrip. Mike, this racetrack is a big two-mile, big sweeping turns. You need everything you've got in a race car. You need great horsepower. Oh, great I love day fireworks. One more thing, Mike. Good fuel mileage. Yes, four distinct corners, 90,000 fans at the ready. Who's favored today? Well, I gotta go with Jimmy Johnson, Mike. Five wins. Yeah, you go with Jimmy Johnson every week. Point four, if you can believe Every it. week you're Jimmy like, Johnson. I think Jimmy Johnson's the We're guy. Not far from Surf City and the Hollywood lights. Let's see who'll be California dreaming at the end of this one. Hopefully Matt Cassie. Starting on the front row with Marty Truex. Hey, don't, don't bump me. Here I am just driving down the front stretch. You're bumping me. That's cool. I'm just going to fly right around you. Oh, God. We are way faster. I wonder if it's all those upgrades I made to my car. Must be. Oh, I, I swear, I had nothing to do with it. That's because that was me way off in front. Oh, what? 
Ouch. Damn, Harv. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. That was brutal. I'm not going to pit, but damn. Let's start inside. There's literally only one track. I'm going to be like, yeah, let's start inside. Or outside. And that is Watkins Glen since that first turn is to the right. I guess that'd still be the inside, though. They're on the outside. I don't know. We'll see when we get to, to Watkins Glen. We'll, we'll see uh, where my head's at then. <laughs> Let's hope we can s still pull away like we were. That way when I make a mistake, it won't be so detrimental. Goes right up the track. A little tight, but we're still fast, so. Yeah, it's really getting tight. I can't I can't see in the throttle coming off the corner. That's gonna hurt, but yeah, I guess I'll probably be fine. I ran a 38 second lap in, pre in, in qualifying. I hear I only run a 40. And it's gotten too tight, I'm not gonna be able to run it, run that fast now. Tire wear is killer. We'll see if anyone has anything for me. I'm up by 4.7 seconds over Jimmy, so uh, okay, over uh, six, six time. I think he's a six time, six time champion. Or is he seven time? No, he is seven time. He's tied with Earnhardt and Petty. But we're beating him. Yeah, we're just kind of tight through the corner. Oh, uh, maybe after I pit, I'll be able to run a run a faster lap. by like seven seconds almost. You see, I just can't stay in the throttle though. Okay, let's use that clean air. Keep digging. So you guys, uh, you hear anything about, uh, or I'm sure you've heard, you know, all the NHL coaches uh, that are just getting absolutely crapped on right now. Um, you know, it all, and it, it's crazy. It, it's just like Babcock getting fired just opened the floodgates. It's, it's just crazy to me. Um, you know, Bab... You know, I liked Babcock when he was a coach of the Wings because uh, they did a lot of winning. Um, I haven't liked him since he left. And all this stuff coming up about coming out about him, it's it's you know not a good look for him. So uh, you know uh, all this you know stuff that comes out, and then uh, I think the most messed up thing was the Mitch Marner thing. 
How do you ask a teammate to to just rat on other teammates? I mean, those guys are brothers. I've been, you know, every team I've been on, we've been brothers, and uh, you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't rat on one of them. Like, oh, who you? How do you ask a rookie to be like put a list of order? Who's the hardest working to laziest person on the team? How is that like? You know, that's a good way to get the team to turn on a rookie. And, uh, you know, it's a good way to get the team to turn on you. And I think that's what eventually ended up happening in Toronto. Like, that team just quit playing for them. They were just like, we want you gone. The players organized a mutiny. And, uh, yeah, it, it eventually went that way. And, uh, you know, just crazy all the stuff that's come out and how all these players are come to say they hate him. 90% of the Leafs players were happy to see him go. Um... And I've heard former Red Wing players come out and say, say some things about him. Um, you know, most notably Mike Commodore. Tommy. Uh, and, you know, Carlo Koliakovo and, you know, Chris Chelios has said some stuff. And Zetterberg said some stuff. And, you know, and I've seen people's reaction to it. You know, and... You got some people... Because I get really close to the wall there. You get some people saying, uh, you know, oh, well, it's just a bunch of guys that were barely able to hang on to the NHL. Day. It's like, you know, Commodore and Koliakou, yeah, maybe they only played really half a season with the Wings, but they had 12-year NHL careers. I think both of them did. So, I mean, you can't say that those guys are, you know, AHL guys that couldn't hang because they hung for 12 years, you know. And, you know, Zetterberg, Chelios, Hall of Famers. So, I, I don't, I, I think that's a bad argument. Um, but yeah, you know, Babcock's out. And I think all the stuff that's come out after is going to hurt him finding another job. Even though I do think somebody will hire him. Somebody will hire him because, you know, he hasn't done the Bill Peters thing where he just, just openly was a racist in uh, the AHL 10 years ago. Which, say what do you want, 10 years ago, it's the climate we live in now. The, the, it's just the way it is now you know um, things from your past are going to come up and, and hurt you in the future and I don't want to say that's unfortunate because you got to be responsible for everything that you do and I I'm, whether fortunately or unfortunately everything gets documented nowadays and uh, you know just, that, the incident I'm speaking with Bill Peters that was not documented I, I don't think in, in, in time like then but you know it's the way it goes and I, I don't think Bill Peters will ever recover from it I honestly never liked him as a coach anyways so you know but he, you know also other things he's done where he you know he choked players and kicked players on the bench and like you know and you see time. these players that are he, he'll do it to are you know rookie players that'll you know put up with it more you, you go do that to a 12 year veteran just kick him in the back he's gonna probably turn around and punch you in the face <laughs> the 12 year veterans aren't gonna take that shit but you know it is what it is I've heard things about Mark Crawford coming out now um, I've heard I've heard a lot of stuff but uh yeah, we're gonna come in and pit here Hit the brakes. Whoa, slow down. We don't need a black flag for speeding. Watch too fast, man. Check up, check I up. did. Looks like you're running on oh, the I totally was too fast. Four tires, four tires. Maybe not. You, Maybe buddy. I wasn't too fast. It'll be alright. I need to upgrade my brakes, because uh, they they failed me there. Four tires here, guys. Quick stop. Let's get going. All right, let's go. That's a good stop, guys. Let's do it. Well, it was our only stop today. Oh, we got black flag. We were not speeding. There's no way. Too what's, fast on pit road. what's? Sorry, pal. Been penalized for speeding in pit 
Unfortunately, what's, what's you have to do a drive through penalty within three laps, or they'll stop counting you in the race. Ugh. This is some bullshit. Get out of my way. Apparently, I gotta make a. I gotta come down pit row. Hey! I don't think I was speeding, but uh, they seem to think I was. Oh no! There's no way! There's no way! Yeah, well, it, I don't think this one counted. So we're just gonna hit the gas because fuck it. I'm still the leader by 10 plus seconds, so maybe I'll be okay. Right side's clear. Still the leader. I'm up by 15 seconds, so maybe. Oh, come on. No, I need to get on pit road. Pit road speed. I gotta get down to 50 miles per hour. Alright, I made it. Oh, so painfully slow. I don't think I was speeding either. Yep, here comes the leader. I'm to I'm not winning this race now. Damn. Like, we were that good. Because nobody had anything for us. And I had to speed going on pit road. And then I goofed up the drive through penalty the first time. And I had to come down a second time. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm back to 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. Oh, I'm at 18th. I'm at 20th. I'm at even finish top 10. 21st. Oh, no. It's 17 seconds. Oh, no. I'm, I don't know how many seconds behind I am. This lap's going to be 18 seconds slower than my fastest one, though. Good news is I'm super fast though, so maybe we can come back. Oh, don't come up in front of me, Carl Edwards, you stupid Aflac duck. 59 second lap. I don't think I messed up the front of my car too bad, so we should be all right. Shouldn't start overheating now. We got enough gas to get to the end. Hopefully, maybe some guys run out and we can get back in there. If we can get back to the 10th place, that'd be cool. I mean, that just sucks. That's enough. Two two weeks in a row we had a car that can win. I wrecked it in the last race. Right and for this race I'm speeding. Clear right. Stay low. Nice pass, man. Keep working. Well, that was sick. I'm already up to 12. Maybe we can make some stuff happen. I don't think I'm going to be able to run Jimmy down, though. He's too far ahead. He's got a full quarter lap on me right now. Probably got about 10 seconds on me. But I'm coming up on the top 10, so I should be able to get into the top 10 here. Back into the top ten. Outside. Car outside. At your door. Mm. Car at your door. I might. Up top, going at the rate I'm going now, I might be able to run him down. At but your door, up top. I. That's gonna be close. Lights all clear, bud. I'm up to seventh though, so even with the speeding penalty, screwing myself. I, I'm up to seventh. I can live with seven. <laughs> My dog's over on the couch sneezing. Five to go. I'm coming for you, Jeff Burton. Oh, and it gets tight. Don't hit the wall. It's tight and just goes straight up the track. 
Yeah, the handling's starting to go away, so uh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. I might I might get this spot, but that's about it. Who knows? I might even get this one. Oh, I got to that corner pretty well, so I'm gonna get this one. You're doing it today. Right side's clear. Four to go. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna get. No way. Am I gonna run him down? Although he's starting to get into lap traffic, so maybe. Maybe they'll get slowed down enough I can get lucky and get another spot or two, but yeah, I'm four, six, three and a half seconds behind the next car in fifth, so I don't think it's going to happen, but uh, you never know. I already pulled a second away from Burton, but I don't know. Three laps to go, I think it's going to be tough. It might happen. They're getting really slowed down by these cars. If I can get through them, which I might be able to. The car's really starting to get away from it. It's, it doesn't want to turn anymore. It's uh, really tough, but it's still a rocket down the straightaways. So. Here we go. I'm only four, four seconds back. I was like 17 seconds back, so. No, oh, I've run down Kane, so uh, maybe I'll get fifth. I'll get fifth. Here goes, there's fifth. I don't know if I'll run down Kyle for a lap to go, but I'll take top five after, after the speeding on pit road and then messing up the original penalty to where I had to come down again. I'll take fifth. Fourth. Third. Oh shit. Oh sorry we're in third. Get out of here Burger King. Go have it your way somewhere else. Can I run down? Can I run down Truex? I don't think I can. He's still about a set, half a second ahead of me, going to the last turn. Yeah, my car didn't turn at all. Yeah, I'm not gonna get him. Jimmy got the win. I got third. And if I had another lap, I would have had him because there's Jimmy right there. Damn. That's too bad. Well, with that third place finish, we jump up to fifth in points, another spot up. Of course, we get the point leader beat us by a spot. Uh, I got a spot that Sunoco's interested if I pit two more times. Menards is also interested if I qualify in the top ten two more times. All right. Oh, and Aaron's wants to be my sponsor. Oh, my God. Where's Aaron's going on this car? I accept. I want an Aaron's dream machine. Aaron's. Oh, that little patch right up by the driver's side window. Look at that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time.